Alright guys, so this is gonna be the final part in episode 5 where the apologies and everything else comes into place, you know? Alright, let's go to the sappy part. I hardly believe that I deserve to be here at all anymore. I do know what I need to do to make up for my crimes, though. I'm going to return to the underneath. Try to help all the people I left behind. Fix all the lives I... ruined. And I'm going to try and find Zara. See if I can't make things right between us. I mean, it doesn't make up for what I... Or what I did to Fred. But if I can heal things with Zara... Well, it's something, at least. And, and no more admin powers. Everything I do now will just be the normal way. Hope I can still remember how the normal way even works. That sounds fine, Romeo. But it's only the start. You have a lot of making up to do. I know. It's true. Save the world again, huh? Doesn't that ever get old? Why, yes, thank you for noticing. Thought we'd fit in a light bit of world saving before afternoon pie time. Happy to see you all in one piece, too. Whoa, 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 whoa! Is that the admin? Is he- Don't worry. He's not the admin anymore. This is Romeo. Well, that's a relief. No more admins for me, thank you very much. I agree with that 112%, Blondie. But Jesse, after everything he did, do you... Do you really think he deserves to go free? What if he hurts more people? He might... He might have been better off where he was. Oh, he's free. But he's not going anywhere. He's gonna make up for all the bad stuff he's done. I foresee many, many hours of community service in his future. <laughs> like, thousands. What do you guys say we head home? I say, way ahead of you, friend. <laughs> Me too. Man, I cannot wait to put on a shirt again. Well... I am approaching you from this direction, and am coming to speak with you. No ninja trickery, hijinks, or tomfoolery here. Both my actions and my intentions are crystal clear. Huh. I think I can hear Ivor. But I don't see him. I'm right here! Hello! Clearly in view! Oh, there you are! Hi, Ivor. Yes, hello. Hmm. So, no more ninja Ivor then? Ha! Huh. No, no. I decided it was time to stop running around in my pajamas and start trying to fix a few messes. <laughs> Starting with trying to heal the rift between my old friends. Magnus is easy. We'll just pop by Boomtown. Last I heard, Gabriel was doing the wandering warrior thing. Soren? No idea where he is. But I've got some leads. Yeah, take it from me. It might be awkward, but I swear, it'll be worth it. Good to know. It won't be the first time I've created an awkward situation. <laughs> well, I suppose it's time for me to go. This has been fun, though, hasn't it? Yep. Jesse! Sure. Jesse, hey! What's up, Radar? I was just saying goodbye to... Guess ninja habits die hard. I, uh, hope you don't mind, but, uh, I've kind of been taking charge of the beautification project. I thought, why not at least make it look intentional? Really stepping it up to leader mode, if I do say so myself. And it's been... stressful. But, 
also fun. So like fun, stressful, stress fun? You've definitely been stepping it up. I'm really proud of you. Oh, wow. This is best day. Whoa! Oh, hey, Luna. Anyway, uh, so with Champion City gone, I was going to make Luna a new llama house and get her set up here in Beacon Town while I help out up there. But, uh, before I did, I thought I'd uh, double-check and see if you'd already you'd been planning on, you know, uh, watching out for her. Seeing, you know, that she likes you so much and all. If you've already built her a llama house when I haven't been around, I, I, I just wouldn't want to double up. Which, by the way, I'd be okay with you doing if you'd already built one. I can tell you mean a lot to each other. In your own weird ways. I wouldn't want to come between that. Yes, yes, that's true. I really am sorry for how I acted, Luna. How I treated you. And I hope that if you'll stay with me, you'll let me prove that I can be better. Oh, Luna, darling. <laughs> I have to tell you how much this means. Oh, God, you gotta be kidding. Oh, I do want to sincerely thank you, Jesse. For everything. You saw me at my worst, and you still thought I was worth saving. That, well, that makes me want to try to be better at being my best. Hoping I can start by helping clean up this dump. I guess our rivalry is over. I finally put it to an end. Actually, I ended our rivalry. I can end a rivalry way better than you. I'm not proud of it, Jesse, but... I was a little tiny bit weirdly obsessed with you. Oh, are we talking about Stella being a weirdo stalker now? <sighs> hey, Stella and I were just talking about what a crazy road it's been. Yeah, no kidding. Yes, well, we need to be running. Oh, and thank you again for everything. Now, you got everything you need, all packed and double-checked? Yes, Jack. This is very, I don't know, bittersweet for me, you know. Goodbyes are no good. Hey. <sighs> that we have, Nermi. So, I won't say it this time. <laughs> Not to people that I will see again. <laughs> you got it. Come on, walk me to the gate. So, you're leaving, apparently? For how long? Honestly, probably a while. But it's good this time. I'm doing it for me. I'm trying to, like, grow or whatever. Anyway, I'm about to say goodbye to everyone, and I... Ah! Come here. I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Promise oh, broken. jeez. It'll be okay. So Petra's heading off into the Great Unknown, huh? <laughs> I figured. Definitely sounds exciting. We could start a new town. I bet Petra would extend the invite. You could go too. I appreciate that, but... I think it's time I settled down here. I just got the ocelots back together. Thought maybe I'd work on a new book. Hey, you guys are missing out on Prime Group hug action. I think this is like the last time we'll all be together, do you? No. Well, maybe. I don't know. I mean, if Petra's leaving. Now, hang on. Let's not put all the pressure on me here. Even if it is, no matter what, we'll always be best friends. And I know that you'll all be the best friends I ever had. <laughs> okay. Well,. I'm gonna get out of here before I... <laughs> Too late. Bye, guys. Be safe out there, okay? The safest. And when you finish that book of yours, I, 
let her have a great part in it. Uh huh. <laughs> what? I know back in Admin's cabin, you said you'd always be waiting in Beacon Town. But the invite's still open if you want it. No pressure. Wait. You're leaving? Yeah, I think Petra and I are gonna hit the road for a while. <gasps> Sounds pretty awesome, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean it does, but, but without you here, who will run Beacon Town? You! Things are peaceful now, but danger could still strike at any time. Who do you think, pal? You! Me? Really? Yeah. I hereby promote you from intern to hero in residence. Thanks, boss. This, uh, you have been, you are. What I'm trying to say is that I promise I'll make you proud. You already have. Everyone's going to miss you, you know? And I'm going to miss them, too. But if anyone ever really needs me, I'll be around. I guess season three, definitely season three. I guess that one is 50 50. <laughs> oh, there's another one. No, no, no. Of course. Man, the sessions were awfully cool. close here. So, um, we finished Minecraft uh, Story Mode Season 2. So, I guess, um, you know. It. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I guess I'll be seeing you in the next Minecraft if it's gonna be or actually or in the next hotel. I don't know what's gonna be next. So till then, bye bye. Alright guys, and thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I really appreciate all the support you've given us. Uh, please comment, like and subscribe for more awesome content. And please also check out all of these thumbnails around me for more Fantastic content from projects. Alright? Alright, and until the next time, bye bye.